Well, it would help if I turned on the mic. Nah. Uh, backseat politician. Hello, how are you? Um, all the sexy bitches are here. Uh, in the chat, we have Leona's Workshop. We have Ungawa. We have Gunpla Fixation. Uh, we have backseat politician. Uh, hello. Yes, I know. I thought I was brilliant and would mute the microphone so you guys couldn't hear my squeaky chair while I was rolling around. And then I forgot to turn it back on. <sighs> How is everybody doing? California's on fire again. Uh, Rona's running rampant. Why do I not have enough microphone cord? Uh, let's untangle the controller. And let's kill. That'll probably work better. Uh, let's see here. In the chat. Okay, uh, here. Glad you liked it. Yeah, I haven't actually gotten to finish watching uh, Leona's new video because I've been working. and But I will watch it after the stream. Uh, Gunplot Fixation says she literally has the power to throw it. Chancla to any misbehaving meaning anywhere in the world. I believe it. Uh, Angawa says, watching Star Trek. Uh, the movie or the show? And the new show or the old shows? 
All right, so I have not made my uh, my USA Gundam Store hate video yet. Not hate video, just my my pissed off video, because um, I'm giving it a full week since I sent them uh, emails and have not heard a peep. Um, but in these. Um, I ended up getting two packages, uh, as I mentioned before. One of them was going to be the uh, paint racks, which here is one of them I ended up building last night. Uh, I'll show you guys in the overhead view that one. Um, evidently, Derek packed both packages. So thanks, Derek. Uh, both were actually packed fairly well. Um, you get these, get the latest thing, subscribe, join the forums, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I got the Barbatos sticker. I doubt I'll stick that to anything. Uh, in the other package, I ended up getting the Sinanju sticker, I think. Um, but in the package that I was talking about that I wasn't happy about, so I did not get a card signed um, by whoever packed it. I got the this card, you know, blah, blah, blah. This is the sticker I got. Even the sticker looks mad. Like they were mad when they packed my package. I'm still disappointed, but I'm giving them a, I'm giving them a, a week to respond. And if not, then, um, then it's time to let loose because it's not like they're a sponsor. They're not sponsoring anything. Haven't sponsored anything. So. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Star Trek TOS. Uh, not interested in the new ones. The stickers are awesome. I do like... I mean, the stickers are, are pretty cool. Um, I don't know if someone's actually doing the art for them or if they're just line arty and doing their own take on it. Uh, this says Terry T7 uh, 2020. Um, so, I mean, the, the artwork is cool. The stickers are cool. I'm just, I'm just mad at him. Um, I had to call FedEx last night because this package had been sitting uh, in limbo since Saturday in Tracy, California. Uh, it arrived in California super early and it just been sitting there and sitting there and sitting there. And so it was supposed to be delivered yesterday had moved it didn't even update every day it had been updating so I um, I called them and within a half hour of being on the phone with them they, they it was moving it, 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 leaving Tracy California so sometimes you just have to call I gotta close this door because wifey sauce is downstairs teaching and I do not want to disturb her. <sighs> so, uh, let me move over here. And, uh, so just in case someone hops in the voice chat like the other Dave, and as long as he's not watching Belle Delphine videos and throwing super chats at her. Uh, let's see here. Um, they pay a commission Instagram artists. Uh, yeah, difficult to be patient. I choose to be patient. I mean, I'm patient. I try to be patient. Um, but when it shows up late, then, I, and I don't see any movement, I, you know, I gotta hit them up. Um, okay. So the things that are going to be used for this video, a hammer. I actually don't even know if I need this. I haven't for any of the other RD station stuff that I built, but. I have it anyway. Uh, some aluminum foil. That's for putting glue on. Glue, in case I need it. I don't always need it, but sometimes I need it. Uh, my faithful metal ruler for spreading said glue. Um, and I got some white tissue paper behind me for putting on the desk to keep from, well, gluing anything to my desk. Uh, speaking of, let's go to the desk. Uh, all right. So here is, uh, which I think I'm going to take my extra camera that I have and I'm going to put it off to the side here so I can have a, a kind of a front on side view. Uh, I think that'll work pretty well. So these are actually 
really well built. I do like the quality of them. Um, you will notice you don't have to go crazy. Just some of these openings just need a little cleanup. Uh, which taking the drawers in and out a couple times will end up fixing that. Uh, I have noticed that with some of these drawers, there's a little like you just kind of have to jiggle it. It'll catch a little bit. Um, I have glued these in and that's about it. Uh, I did put some glue like here and here and on the back because uh, I don't I don't foresee having to take these apart ever ever. Uh, this drawer is just fine. It's just this one. There's a little catch. Uh, these do fit. Let's see here. These paint bottles just fine. Uh, those bottles just fine. And what else have I got? So we've tried Gaia. We've tried Mr. Color. Let's try the the Mr. Hobby. And do I have any other candy? I don't think so. But these just should also uh, hold the, uh, like the uh, AK Interactive bigger bottles and stuff like that too. But the RD station actually uh, has a rack I think that sits on the top that's going to be used for that stuff. So my goal with setting up this whole thing is uh, actually being able to eliminate I have a Mr. Color rack uh, or Mr. Hobby paint rack sitting over there. Uh, I'm hoping to be able to eliminate a lot of my little homemade, home found acrylic things for tools and stuff and just organizing everything because my desk is usually chaos and I've actually really liked having my desk free and clear. So I'll almost be sad filling it up. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, da, da, da. I like what they did for their name on some of the panels. Uh, that's from Kyle Angawa. I need hammers for the, uh, I needed hammers for the magnets that came, uh, with the hobby zone racks. Uh, Ozzy says, if you put some furniture, uh, paste wax on the slides, that'll fix it. Um, I actually think on this one. Come on. Come on. So there are little ball bearings and I'm going to do a build on one, uh, both the acrylic version and the lacquer paint version of this. Um, but I'm pretty sure if I look, I can find there's a little lip and that may have been my fault uh, back there in the back on that corner. So that's actually probably my fault. Uh, other than that, these actually work really, really well. So I think what happened is I did not push this edge down all the way. In fact, you can see a little bit of a gap. So that's actually probably my fault, but it's already glued in there. So it is what it is. Uh, I do like the finish on the outside. The edges are rough, but uh, the finish on the smooth side is actually pretty awesome. Um, so there is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 of these size boxes and one of this size box. Um, and then I still have uh, one acrylic paint rack and one lacquer paint rack that is not built. Um, but I actually have one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, three acrylic paint and one lacquer painted. So I have a lot of stuff. Uh, let's see here. Robert O, uh, you selling the Mr. Uh, Hobby paint holder. I may, I don't know. I may just give it away if someone just pays for the shipping. Um, okay, so this first little one was which was kind of odd um, Unless they stuck it in one of the the packages Where with RD station you get a flyer from them and and like precautions and how to build and stuff um, 
and there's also not a packing list to make sure that I actually got everything that I was supposed to. So I'm hoping everything's here. I'm hoping. You, you can't see my face, but I'm hoping everything is here. Um, and I couldn't actually find a packing list on um, RD Station's site of exactly what's going to be in there. And the only other person that I saw that was English speaking that did an unboxing of Opera was uh, the average builder, which I think I used his discount code to help him out because he gets a commission. Um, so if you see this, thanks, dude. But um, and he didn't actually go through everything that came in the box. The FedEx shipping um, was listed at 16 pounds and this actually ended up, sh they sh packed it in a Bandai box and I don't even remember what was in it. Uh, and there was some packing bubbles and stuff in there. So it was kind of willy nilly in there. The bottom was almost completely worn off. Uh, it was partially open. So, but I know for it, like from RD Station, it comes in a big box that says RD Station on the box. I don't know. They probably open them and then redistribute them as is. But hopefully I have everything. Uh, Robert O, I would be interested. Uh, I've debated on it for a while. Uh, I picked up the RD Station spray booth and the tool holder. Glad it's coming tomorrow. Uh, yes, I am really looking forward to the spray booth because I haven't been able to paint. I haven't been able to prime or anything with my airbrush the whole Rona season. Um, because in my infinite wisdom, when I ordered everything and they said it'd be in stock and shipping out in a couple weeks, then um, Rona hit and nobody got crap. Um, so I'm actually going to just do this real quick because it's the smallest of all the packages. We'll just throw that over there. That is actually box number uh, 14. So I'm going to try and how people have started doing in videos, they've cut, put little cuts uh, as far as what the video content is. Um, I'm going to try and do that. Now, these I, I find odd that they designed these this way. This is the only package that I've actually opened to look at. So you have two different things. So they have this laid out, uh, assemble spray booth side and runner stand side. And I actually, now that I think about it, I may understand why they did this this way. So I would have thought it probably would have been a little bit easier. So you have, you have this that's going to be used for your Mr. don't have any of the glue bottles handy but I do have the Mr. Retarder mild uh, so that actually fits in there pretty well uh, has a little extra space so that's good um, so I, actually I may not build these yet so technically thinking about it in an engineering way these are going to be corner things so technically this can go in this corner This one can go in this corner. I would have thought it would have been easier unless they just like this is a standard thickness for the MDF. But, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? This one doesn't matter because technically you could put it over into this corner or this corner. This one, on the other hand, let's say you wanted it over in this corner. You would just flip everything over this way. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so maybe we won't do these right this second. Well, let's get something more important built. Uh, what fan it will you, uh, let's see, Robert ask, what fan unit will you be using? So I actually have, it's a attic fan. Um, 
so it'll it goes in the attic and you can put it in line uh and i think it moves on high it moves 400 and some odd cubic feet per second per minute um it, it's a super duper fan like i hooked it up to my regular spay booth which was one of the collapsible like you get on amazon that everybody has because that just didn't do it enough um when I have it on high here in the hobby room, I can actually hear wind whistle around the the bedroom door um, of air being sucked from the hallway through the room. So that's how strong it is. Uh, I actually have a six inch dryer hose running all the way, you can't see it, but all the way from the bathroom that's back there behind the curtain. The fan is mounted in the window on a pivot so I can open the bedroom, uh, bathroom window swing around the fan close the window and seal that off so it blows outside and then it's also very loud like very very loud there's a reason it gets put in an attic um, so once that's on you can't really hear it when all of that is done just over here on the mic and then it runs all the way over to right here so that's what I'm using um, I think it was, it was pricey. It was 120 some odd dollars. Uh, it's an AC fan, it runs off of AC power. You can hook it up to like a light switch. Uh, I actually hooked up the, the switch to, we're not gonna say her name, but she's a little round puck that comes from Amazon. Um, so I have hooked up to one of those little plugs so I can just tell her what to do. Sometimes she listens, sometimes she doesn't. Um, okay, so let's do this. This is probably one of the heavier uh, packages. And this is box number one. There are actually two of these. There are four box number twos. There are one number three. There's one number four. Two uh one number five wait why am i not seeing a number five four five so there's one number five one number six two number sevens two number eights and one number nine uh going through here so this is going to be one of and i have to give them credit like this company is out of Korea and they do a bomb ass job of packing things. If you want to jack someone's feet up or so forth, just leave some of this laying around on the floor. Like it, it'll exfoliate anything. Um, so this is number one. So this actually is the compartment and you have drawers that fit in. The hell? Looks like you have all these different instructions. So I'm assuming that these are gonna be all the different drawers that go in. So we're gonna put those over there, take this out. All of these are gonna go in the dumpster after the screen. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Robert says, I'm hoping my old Mr. Hobby spray booth will fit on the, the back. Um, worst case scenario is you go to Home Depot or Lowe's and you get an adapter. Now I kept, uh, I kept this adapter from the, the spray booth I had in case I need it. Uh, and I may just end up hard, uh, hard wiring or hard screwing this onto the back. Um, I haven't found the spray booth yet. I think it's box number five, but I'm not for sure. And I'm not sure that it even came with any filters. I don't remember it saying if it did or didn't. And I chose not to order any um, because I can just, you can literally go to the hobby store and get a 20, 30 foot roll of um, cotton batting that they use for like blankets and stuff like that. Uh, you can even, I mean, you can get the same filters for like AC units, but 
you can just get the cotton batting, cut out a piece, like one roll that costs you like $9 for, I think it's like 20 feet. Cut up will last you a lifetime. It will last you and your friend a lifetime. It'll last you and your grandchildren a lifetime. You, oh my god. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Hobby and Happy Jason TV. It says hello. Hello back to you. Uh, uh, have you been talking to one of my co-workers, Jim? Because I think I irritate the hell out of them because I do that at work. Do you want to touch my culo? And usually one of them are like, ah, that's a big fat no. Negatory. You're too funny. So, uh, let's see. We got those two pieces. Um, this tape that they use is actually great because it doesn't, like, I haven't noticed any residue being left on. It's that, um, that ribbed for her pleasure tape. But it holds everything securely. Keep in mind also that majority of the females that I work with are Hispanic. So that makes it even funnier. Uh, okay. There's that. Uh, I found the perfect meme for myself and it was something about, uh, hold on. I'll be able to find it. Do, 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 do. Uh, no, we don't need to see that. Back away, Dave. Back away. Uh, I speak three languages. English, sarcasm, and sexual innuendos. That is pretty much me in a nutshell. And I have no, no shame. Uh, so... I thought, where is other Dave? Let's see, he may be working. He may be watching porn. I don't know. Uh, okay, where is my instructions? There's gonna be a lot of instructions. So we'll build the main part first. Uh, highly cautious, blah, 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 blah. Don't need to read no stinking how to's. Just need to follow the directions correctly. So we've got that one. And that's going to go with the big slot up. I said slot, not big slot up. That's, that's tomorrow night. So evidently in shipping, there was some rubbing on the white part. So as you can see, we'll just rub that contamination off on my leg. Good job, Dave. Good job. So what do we got? So this looks like it's going to go in the center. And done. Just plain. <laughs> now most of this stuff actually fits like really, really, really tight. And you probably don't have to glue it, but. Come on. It's one of those like you just get just right. There we go. Get in the hall. Do 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 do. I just want to make sure that I have everything.
perfect, perfect. So actually, what I end up doing, open up the wood glue. So one of the reasons that I like using, well, a couple of the reasons I like using um, this metal ruler is so that I can do things like that. So I can actually fish it down in there and then I can smooth out if there's any and wipe off any excess. This is going to slide right in here and then down on there. Easy peasy. Let's look at it. Let's look at our chat. Uh, and looks like nothing going on there. So no fires to put out yet. Why is this so? Oh, because I don't have the fan pointed at me. That would help. Oh, that feels so good. Hopefully that fan noise doesn't affect the microphone. If it does, I'm sorry. I'm hot. And so this one's going to go over on this side. The, the whole part goes to the back. Ask any girl, she'll tell you that. Dab of glue. Just like that. I know you guys can't see that. Where's my paper towels? There they are. See, this is why I need the this is why I need the station. Jim's only here so he can watch an accident happen and then I end up bleeding because he's a masochist that way. So you don't, I mean, unless you have something that's really, really stubborn, you don't really need glue. I haven't had any issue. Uh, okay, so next up we have the little dividers. Make sure and put them short little side to to the back. So short not uh, short tall notch to the back. Um, actually, yeah, all the notches go to the back, and I think that's how I think I'm figuring that out is the way that they're ending up doing it is all the pieces that have a little notch, those all go to the back. I think I just figured that out. And I'm just going to, actually, the whole point in me having the aluminum foil here, I used to use a, a Q-tip, but that just got horrendous. Plus, I don't know where my Q-tips are. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's see here. Other day, sorry, I didn't see you were live, or else I would have been here bugging you. Uh, Nike says, does this require glue? No, um, it doesn't. Uh, you don't have to use glue. In fact, 
but I, I do just for a little extra security. Kind of like a condom. It's better safe than sorry. But now, where the hell did I stick my ruler? Jesus Christ. And if the other Dave isn't busy and he wants to hop in Discord chat, I think I have it up. Uh, did you end up getting your crush kits from USA Gun? No, in fact, I haven't even gotten a reply from them. Um, so, whatever. I'm going to wait until the end of tomorrow. Give them a full seven days to reply. And if they don't, then then it then I'm just going to do my own thing. Uh, and the reply was after they prompted me to send an email with pictures uh, to from Instagram. So I mean, it is what it is. I'm not going to I'm not going to box that shit back up and send it out to them. Um like for replacements I, I'm not that picky I just think better care should have been taken all right so let's see if I can get this in I don't know why I have the shakes I mean yes I'm having an energy drink but one of those you just you kind of have to finagle it like a little puzzle I know you guys have a horrible camera angle mm, I hear a troll no <laughs> how are you doing brother Hanging in there. I'm sorry if my audio sounds weird. I'm using a Bluetooth bone conducting headset for both microphone and head headphones. Oh, that works. Yeah, I didn't see you go live, otherwise I'd have been here bugging you. Yeah, I figured you. I always figure you're doing something. I'm either working or asleep. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I hear banging, which means I need to look over the stream. Okay. I can't bang this on the desk because the desk is glass. <laughs> Are you using the downstairs setup for it? Uh, no, I'm using my upstairs setup, but. And then, if I bang too much, then wifey sauce will end up texting me. What are you breaking up there? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. It's percussive maintenance. Thank mm -hmm. you. All right. So, we're going to put some glue. Thin bead. All right. Uh, let's see. Nike says, uh, "I totally agree. Better care should have been taken with packing uh, online orders." Yeah, I, th I think whoever packed it didn't give a fuck. There wasn't even, there wasn't even the normal slip that they put in, like packed by. Like these were packed by Derek, so I know who to yell at. That would be Derek. Um, 
so whatever. I would not suggest. Uh, I would not suggest using a regular hammer. Uh, I would use a uh, like a rubber mallet type hammer. But yeah, so in what like five minutes or so forth, this is what we have built. I think there's two of these. Let's build some drawers. And. Like I always end up getting some little, um, I don't know what you call them, burrs, something like that. And I literally just take an X-Acto knife and trim those down. Um, as precise as they try to be with everything, it doesn't always, doesn't wor always work out perfect. All right, so we're gonna set this to the side and let the glue dry on that um, so let's get that one out of the way next up we have some drawers so this is gonna be number 10 where are we let's let's build a number 10 that to the side looking forward to seeing your reviews on this stuff yeah I just I want to get this built I want to get my desk set up all right so what do we got we're gonna be building a couple of these I believe should be two of them. So there's that. There's that. So yeah, that makes it a lot easier now that I know that the I know that's going to be bright if you'll focus on it. Come on. Come on, camera. Get it together. So, yeah, there you can kind of see. So, on each of the pieces uh, to the, on each of the pieces to the back, there's a notch. So, that makes it a lot easier to know front and back. Uh, I didn't even actually know that until messing around with it a little bit ago. Um, How much are each one of these modules that you're building? Uh... For the full kit, for the full opera, was um, I three hundred and something plus tax and shipping. Damn. But that's like this. I need to buy a laser cutter so I can start pumping this shit out. <laughs> um. But like this is the biggest one they have. They have they have others that are smaller, and you can get the little modules and like do one over time like you don't have to do the full kit and caboodle at one time yeah so and it doesn't take much wood glue it's just just a little bit And I do suggest using like, like, even like I'm doing right now, using the instructions um, as a bottom piece, um, just in case you have like glue seepage.
this up. Hopefully. I need to go through and change what heads I'm using. One second, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> uh, Agawa. Holy crap, that mic has pooper. Sounds like he's driving down the highway. Uh, Alright, and then... Here is the front. this that's gonna go on the inside so sticky so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this around upside down press 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 use my finger smooth out any little glue globs Get that where it needs to be and we're gonna put that over there and we're gonna build the other one Does the microphone sound better? Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> this is my Plantronics headset, so. Sounds much, much better. Microphone, uh, or my fan sound isn't too loud? I don't even hear your fan, so. No. Good. Uh, let's see here. Uh. Gunpla fixation, Dave. Difference between arty zone, and hobby zone, modular art stations. Um, I liked the layout of the arty station better. I've had the hobby zone, um, and they were actually r really good, but I think they were kind of limited. Plus, um, if you wanted, if you want like a full modules. You have to order it from, I think they're out of Poland. Um, yeah, I remember they were foreign. Yeah. I mean, RD Station's out of South Korea. Um, but I just like the options better with the RD Station. And I actually think, all together, if you added up uh, everything with the RD Station versus uh, Hobby Zone... Uh, RD station actually ends up being cheaper in the long run. Drop a glue, drop a glue, drop a glue, drop a glue. So, I was not using like uh, cyan acrylate super glue for it. Um, no, actually, the wood glue actually works better uh, with the MDF than super glue. Fair enough. Oh, there's a, uh, according to Angawa, there is a U.S. distributor for Hot Pizza Zone now. Um, they're kind of limited, and I, I've ended up finding them a couple times, and I, I did. I debated between the two, uh, but I like the fact that I could get the spray booth with this one, and if I want, I can add more modules. I just, I wanted something that was uniform. Um, I've had enough hodgepodge crap <laughs> yeah 
Um, but I mean, as far as as quality, Hobby Zone was uh, Hobby Zone was good too. I, I can't knock them. I'm looking forward to seeing what the setup looks like when it's all done, because for when I the 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 head cannon looks great. <laughs> a little just a little I know you guys can't see everything that I'm doing I'm oh, sorry it's hard working between a camera <laughs> even though it's overhead mounted yeah now you can do one to two things and I don't think I have any down here you can take little like binder clips just to hold that but um, so what I'm going to do Smear out that glue. Smear out that glue. Making sure everything's... And then I just pull this out until it's up till the edge. And it all looks good. And then I'm just going to... I literally have this one sitting over there. And I'm going to set this one just like that. Uh, it does not take very long for the wood glue to um, to set. All right. So let's see. There's another piece down. Now probably. Is that a drawer that you just finished? Yeah. Okay. And now I have. Two, three more drawers. Something like that. It's a piece of furniture and it's fun because you get to put it together. Yeah. Um, one little packet. Off your fancy hammer you got there, Dave. And now, uh, I don't even remember why I ended up getting the rubber, rubber <laughs> mallet, but came in handy. Yes. Um, all right. So I got three of these. One, two, three. Jeez, a part explosion. <laughs> There's those, and those two, and one, two, three, one, two, three. So I don't know about everywhere else in the world, but it is supposed to be fucking hot as hell this weekend. Dude, it got up to 100 degrees in my office. Oh yeah, that's pretty damn hot. Uh, I think here on Sundays they said it's supposed to hit like 111 plus. Oh jeez, no thank you. 
Now we've had. I'm happy with my level of hell. <laughs> we've had ugly uh, summers here before. Um, my boss today was like, I don't ever remember. Being, I'm like, I do. I remember us having. Uh, it was 112 days, I want to say, of over 100 degrees, and 86 of those days were over uh, 105, 110, something like that. Like, like it was crazy. Uh, Gumplification asks, dude. You have a uh, Mr. Color Rack? Do I have a what rack? Uh, Mr. Color Rack? I do have a Mr. Color Rack. And then they also say, too expensive to ship the floor to Lamau. Uh, actually, not really. It's not the big rack, Jim. Um, it's the it's the Mr. Hobby Rack. Uh, I ended up getting it when Hobby Wave was around. It's a three-tiered rack. It holds... 75 bottles or something like that um, but it actually breaks down um, it's like I don't know 15 inches by like 10 11 inches tall by about 12 inches deep so it's a good size but it's not all crazy that one we'll put that one up stuff over there make sure everything's all good um, so I don't know what time is it? 851 Let's crack open something else. I can work on these off stream. Uh, I'll put that up there. What else have I got? Uh, let's see. Um, Dude, AMC Theaters opened up again offering 15 cent tickets for movies. I saw something on uh, Philip DeFranco today about that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 30% capacity, so on and so forth. Now, the only way that I ended up doing it, um, which actually he was right about it, if it's 15 cent per ticket, it's a 30% capacity. Technically, if you and your spouse went, you could buy the whole theater for around $15. Per person, <laughs> which is cheaper than gain a normal movie ticket that's the only way I would end up going is to have the whole freaking theater to myself um, so there are three of those those are corner units um, let's see they couldn't pay me enough to go to the theater right now yeah no not with other people That's like saying, hey, would would you like a free trial of cancer? Um, so this looks interesting. Let's build this. Uh, so that's that. I'm curious. I'm looking through. Okay, so these are... That's a... 
pearl rack. Um, and that's the spray booth. Uh, for those that are still in chat, there looks to be 11 people. Uh, should I build the one of the tool modules or the paint booth? Uh, one, I kind of want to see a paint booth. One for the paint booth and two for the tool, the tool rack. Do, 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 do. So option one, tool rack or just rack. And option two, paint booth. Wow, that's a lot of glare. Uh. Gunpla says paint booth. I am kind of curious because I am going to have to modify this. I did not get the switches because I don't need it. Um, I did not get their thing. I wonder. Yeah. All right. All right, Jim. You got it. All right, so there's the instructions for the paint booth. Sorry about that. Mm, I hope that was a burp and not your ass. Yeah, no. Don't be pulling a Ralph retort on me. Uh. All right. Damn. Come on. Ugh. You out of here. Uh, so yeah, this did not come with any fill. So keep that in mind. Uh, but like I said, you can literally go to um, Joanne Fabric, Michaels, get a roll of the cotton batting. You can get different thicknesses. Um, and just get a roll of it. It's like nine, ten bucks. It'll be enough to last you for freaking ever. So this is kind of interesting. Their little modular thing for the hose. Uh, I don't, I don't know that I'm going to end up using that because I'm going to have to modify it. But we will see. Um, let's get. I think I'm going to need this cardboard. So I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the bottom because it looks like a bottom. Thank God, tomorrow is Friday. There, toss that over there. Uh, how's the paint booth? <laughs> you got one and two, yeah. So I, I'm, I'm gonna do the paint booth. I think I can get this done before I gotta go. I'm not doing an all night stream because I have to work in the morning. Uh huh, sure. You keep saying you won't do an all night stream, but. I mean, all night stream. <laughs> Tomorrow night, that's a different story. It may. Like, once I put Wifey to sleep. And by sleep, I do not mean by putting a pillow over her face. Because I love her. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else is in here? This feels like some big ass freaking magnets. Yeah, they, they didn't play around with the, the magnets on this. Like, they, these are freaking huge. Um, okay, so we got those pieces. Come on. Where's the edge? There, there it is. Uh... Robert says, sweet, I was hoping you'd build the booth tonight. Okay, so we got those two pieces. It's a shame you don't have any frame arm girl kits. You can have booth babes. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I do. Ah. <laughs> I just haven't built Built? Yet. Uh, yeah. No. 
No, but I have the looted sitting over on the on the desk that's built. Mm. Oh yeah. How was that build, by the way? Uh, it was enjoyable. I guess now they came out with a black version. Yeah, I was looking at the Ludens kit. I kind of want to get it at some point. It's a good build. It's enjoyable. Uh, John got So that. far, the only... Huh? Oh, I was going to say John got that for me. Nice. Yeah, I've only had an experience with like two or three different frame arm girls, and they're the ones that were mostly mech versus the girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. I picked up two uh, of the neon-colored Megami devices at a convention one time. Okay, let's peel off this. Damn, half of this is just taking the pieces apart and getting the tape off and just getting them ready. That, 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 we got that, and then we got that. Let's get over here. Uh, I chose not to get the acrylic doors for this because they're not foldable. Um, so that kind of makes them useless to me. If I want to have like outer doors for it, I'll, I'll set up something. But other than that, I did not bother spending the extra money for the um, for the acrylic doors. All right, let's take a look and see what this says. Uh, I've not peeled off this part. Cut that. Cut that. What have we got here? So this is saying I need, I guess, to make two of these. And I need, it looks like that piece. One there, one there. And I need one of these here, one of these here. Okay. about right so I want to glue that now I only want to glue it because chemicals that together push that down and I have globs of paint glue on there for a reason cuz yeah it's interesting very interesting Use some of that. Right there. Chemicals are fine. We sniff and resin anyway. <laughs> You're right. Uh, I love you, Danny. That's a tight fit. 
Jesus. Let's see if we can do this without completely jacking this up. Excuse me while I, while I, while I bang this out. <laughs> you know, like a prom date. So this is where I probably would recommend having a, a rubber mallet, just because they they fit it together so tight um, that you almost you almost have to. see here I'm going I've come to enjoy the fresh smell of uh, resin smell hopefully it's not toxic I know there's nothing like fresh resin smell mm. They're like it's gonna give you cancer okay well so is the air outside so at least I'm enjoying this Didn't you know that in the state of California, air is proven to cause cancer? Uh, probably <laughs> everything else has a label on it. Uh, I think when I bought the my helmet for the scooter at REI the other day, it actually had a label on it. Warning, has chemicals known in the state of California to cause cancer. It was a helmet. Yeah. I'm like, okay. All right, so there's those. I have no idea where those go yet. Okay. Okay, so here's this. One of these is gonna go here. They did not play around with this. Same right there. Get in the hole. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't even been drinking yet. Get in there. 
Come on, baby. I love you. Get in the hole. Now we mentioned that this channel is not child friendly. Just like to make sure that that's what? clear with you two. Oh, then I can't watch it. Because I've got the brain of a child. If you want child friendly content, go watch Gunpla Me <laughs> or Zaku Aurelius. Like a guy code too. Like a guy too. <laughs> yep. But not here. This is an adult channel. Oh, shit. Robert with two R's and two B's. <laughs> Miss that guy sometimes. Yeah. Uh, okay. So the piece I need is actually sitting in my lap. Okay. Get this out here. So you're in my way. Uh, okay. So there's that. Got these two. Before I put this on, there's that. Do I even want to bother with this? Is it in the instructions? What's that? Is it in the instructions? Uh, no, this is a uh, piece I'm adding on. Ah. Uh, and I don't. Think. I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to hold off on the rings because I don't think I need those. I think I already planned that I don't need those. I'm going to put those over there. I can always add it on later. But so this is the this is the adapter for the hose that I have. Um, from my old spray booth. So I think I'm going to literally just, I know you guys really want to see the top of my balding head. Uh, I think I'm going to just drill that down. I have a rubber gasket to go on here. Uh, okay, so we're gonna hold off on that. We're just gonna pretend we did not see that in the instructions. Okay. So what have I got? So we've got the bottom. So we'll face it away, just like they show in the instructions. And we've got this. Okay. Lone plastic piece in a cardboard fortress. want to make sure I've noticed a lot of these piece, uh, pieces for the the air booth are angled uh, so you want to make sure and have them angled in the right direction okay, okay so there's that Got this piece. I hope I have that. I don't think I do. So, uh, for the person that was in the chat, I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was uh, right now, um, that said you have this on the way. Uh, you guys, you can probably see from this upper view. I actually had to flip around because the instructions do not show clearly. Uh, this piece has an angle, and then this piece has an angle. So, uh, this piece you want, this one you want the angle in, this one you want 
in this way. Uh, I actually had it flipped around because that's the way it looked in the instructions, but that is not correct. Um, because you want it, this piece is going to go on there. So those are going to fit together. And then this piece is going to go up against uh, over here. Uh, well, yeah, it's going to go up over there, I think, or the filter goes up behind it. But either way, you want this piece at this angle. So let's pull that down and dab like a Jake Paul, dab some glue on there and hopefully the FBI doesn't come after me like they did him. You're so cringy, Dave. I know. <laughs> who, who, I'm so cringy? Yeah. I know. <laughs> just trying to stay relevant with the kids how's it going fellow kids <laughs> today we're going i to say go... that with all the love in my heart which is very little uh, today we're going to go dumpster diving for gunpla you know what if a place zeroed out gunpla near me i'd be dumpster diving for that jeez yeah my father which was actually a master draftsman and carpenter would probably kick my ass if he was still alive watching how messy I was being with this <laughs> a little sandpaper can't fix well no just like with my glue my glue application okay. I bought a whole ass bottle of glue to glue three joints on a desk it... yes but now you have it for many things yeah if I ever wanted late night snack <laughs> okay. people in the audience I did not condone the <laughs> The views of other Dave are not reflected in Dave's world. <laughs> we do not condone the eating of glue. Eat glue at your own risk. Yes. Reminds me of when I used to play Pokemon Go a lot. Anytime I ran across anybody who, who was part of the yellow team, I go, Ooh, and what's your favorite flavor of glue? Uh Push it real good. Push real dun, good. Dun, 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 dun.
this side ought to be interesting. It's so weird being at work and not waiting for a phone call to come in. Mm. So, what exactly do you do now? All the things. Right now I'm on a shift that doesn't get phone calls. Oh. So I'm assuming you push so those... here. Huh? I'm assuming you push those calls off to, like, India? No, no, no. I just help people through chats. Um, team members. Like, hello, and thank you for calling Microsoft IT Support. My name is Bobby. How may I help you? Well, Bobby, first of all, And I'm just going to stop there because otherwise I'm just going to like go off the rails and I'm going to piss somebody off. And I don't mean to. You guys have not noticed I do not have a filter and I also don't know when to quit so if I offend anybody quitting what the hell is that <sighs> sorry it's all <laughs> Fingers are so sticky right now. Not in the good way. Okay. But that side came out. Son of a bitch. I almost wish I had a giant wood clamp. But I don't. So I'm probably judging by the gaps that I have here that I don't want. I'm probably going to go over with silicone. Did my pepper towel go? No pepper towel for you. I guess. Like it was literally just in my hand. What you should do is go the whole thing with the can of Flex Seal. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> okay. That doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad. Probably would have been better if I had a wood clamp, but okay, so that seems to kind of work. They are building that fancy old laser cut paint booth, and I'm over here drawing up schematics for a paint booth made out of garage sale signs and or campaign signs that I find on the side of the road. Oh my god, make one out of Biden Camilla. I swear to god. Yes! That's hilarious. 
Okay. Uh, done and done. Not to say that I'd be committing any crimes to do said things, it's just once I find them floating on the side of the road, they're no longer being signs. <laughs> I am picking up garbage. I am I am doing community service. We do not, we here at Dave's World do not condone thievery and or criminal activities. <laughs> but if you're doing community service and you're cleaning up your neighborhood, fair game is fair game. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is pretty, the base part is pretty much done. Um, I think I'm probably, once everything cures, I'm going to go around and either seal with more wood glue or I'm going to seal with some silicone, uh, some of these gaps in here. Otherwise, uh, you will just have suction coming from everywhere and I only want her to suck from one place. So, um, in the meantime, what else we got? That's why we can't have nice things, Dave. Mm. Okay. I know you guys can barely see see that, but um, and if only you had like a really tall, like a really open space to with a good camera that you could do things with. Yeah, that would be really awesome. Oh yes, I do, but it's downstairs, and the wife is teaching class, so I can't go down there. So I may at some point move said station downstairs upstairs yeah uh, but i will have to completely rearrange the hobby room um, yeah i mean it, it it won't be that hard but um though once i in once i actually get this done i'll actually be able to free up a bunch of shelf space behind me and so that should that should help. Which she threatened. She found this freaking plastic dragon that breathes smoke. I think on Home Depot or something like that. And she threatened that she was ordering it. Which I don't really care. Except then I saw the dimensions of this thing because Halloween's coming and she wants to do stuff even though we don't do anything for Halloween <laughs> I mean it, it, it is our favorite time of year but so this dragon is I want to say side to side like wing to wing is six seven feet it stands about seven feet tall and I think it's about 12 feet long now it is plastic. Uh, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know if she was bullshitting that she ordered it. But if it shows up, then it's probably going to take the spot where I put the new desk downstairs. So we'll see. I was like, where in God's name are you going to put that? Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> That's the worst thing you could ever hear from somebody. Don't worry about it. Is it going on my side of the bed? Am I moving out? Like, <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Robert, that fucker is four hundred bucks at Home Depot. Yes. So you know the one I'm talking about, Robert? Yes. I've seen it. Yeah. Yes. Dude, over in Florida, Home Depot didn't have crap for Halloween directions or directions, the, the decorations. I moved to Texas right before Halloween hit, and 
god, they've got like pirate ships you can buy at Home Depot now? That's <laughs> nuts. Whole ass ghost ships. <laughs> I'm like, hey, keep in mind, I live in like a townhouse. Like, I don't have a house house. I wish I had a house house. But, I'm like, okay, babe. Let me find a job over there. We'll combine our incomes. There we go. We got a house house. <laughs> so, me not having a house is kind of a selfish decision. Um, we, we could have gotten a house here. But I don't want to be stuck here. Um... Like, if something were to come up and, and I have a chance to move to, like, the coast, I'd be so up on that. Uh, but if you own a house and then... I mean, now that I'm getting older, I'm seeing it as a catch-22. If I rent and something breaks, I call someone and they send someone to fix it. If I own and something breaks, I call myself and I hope I have enough money to fix said broken item. Mm-hmm. And plus you've got, uh, you know, property tax and everything else. You get down, you get in there. gentle I'm just banging her softly banging her softly with my hammer banging her softly with my hammer okay push all the glue out said extra glue uh, yeah I have no idea if we got the dragon where the hell it was getting up going and I'm not saying but here's the thing we we already know if we end up get if we end up getting that I'm going to end up fucking airbrushing over it and detailing it oh yeah which I think she already had in mind but uh, okay so she, so, see, she's doing it for you. She wants to support your arts and crafts urges. Yeah. All right, so I already know that I'm going to have this scene this way over in this corner. So you have the option of either putting in the switch things, of putting um, these two pieces, which are the airbrush holders, on either side. And I'm thinking I'm going to put it over on this side. But I'm not going to. Sorry. Oh, I'm not going to glue these in, just in case I decide I want to put. It so on. it does have like a, a deflector that you can put at those slots. Yeah. So. Come on, get in there. <sighs> okay. So. So you guys can kind of see. Let me see. Let me make it focus on that. Okay, so you have these two things. Where's where's my magical box of airbrushes? Okay, there we are. Let's use the renegade, that piece of shit. Okay. I shouldn't say it's a piece of shit. It's not. It's a good airbrush. Uh, Better than the our Amazon ones. After so, airbrush. So technically, this is what it's going to look like. So... I mean, I can use that for an airbrush holder. That's going to work just fine. And I can put two on there. That works. So, all right. All right. All right so now I want to see how much that thing is. Which thing? It's the air, air booth. Oh. All right. Um, okay, where am I? 
So I'm going to take this off the desk for a little bit. Now, time for some magnet porn. Uh, okay. Where? I think I put it over here. Roll back. I'm looking for. There's my Sharpie. Oh, the spray booth. Oh, go ahead. Say so the spray booth is only forty-seven eighty. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, the single modules are not bad. Oh, dude, does it come with all the electronics for it? Uh, no, that's separate. Okay. But literally, all it is is two toggle switches. Yeah. I mean, you can get those from freaking Home Depot for like four bucks. I can get them from Walmart for like three bucks or yeah. four bucks. Yeah. So as usual, boys and girls, I always suggest Jesus, these are strong. <laughs> um, I always suggest marking one side of your magnets with a Sharpie or something like that. That will make your life so much easier. Yes. If any times on a piece of armor that I'm making, putting the wrong side of the magnet, gluing it. Okay. Okay. So, uh... So what we're going to do, we're going to take our ruler. We're going to take four of these. Black side up. We'll dab a glue each. I probably would use super glue, but I don't know where the frick it is right now. It reminds me I need to drill a hole in my desk just for my super glue to sit then. Oh yeah. <clears throat> that way it's never too far away. So I'm just swirling the glue in the hole. And then Magnet flush. Doing it this way makes it so easy. I don't care what project you're working on. Magnet in, slide it away. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, so there's that. Done. Um, and then for these. We're going to put <laughs> black side down onto the ruler. Yeah, that's a great idea. I didn't even think about that before. What's that? Just admiring your genius with the put them flush, slide it away. <laughs> oh, that I that's what I end up doing with um when I'm working on resin, like that way it just it's there and you don't have to worry about um uh, it coming out, like it just it stays in the hole that way. Or reversing polarity on you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Same with that. These just look coming together really nicely. Uh. All right. So 
there's the magnets in. The one of the reasons I'm not really worried about any extra glue on stuff is once it dries, you just take a razor blade and like cut it and it'll actually just peel right off. So mm -hmm. easy peasy on that. <coughs> um, and I think that's, uh, wait, where do these other magnets go? See, and this is the weirdest design. So these magnets that they have here, these longer magnets, they have intended for going sideways into these holes to hold the plexiglass thing, um, which, oh. which I don't think would actually work properly. I mean, with the work that I've done on magnets and stuff that just doesn't seem like it would be appropriate. Um, but it looks like I have some extra magnets for a figure kit because I won't be using those. I don't need those right now. So, alright. So, technically we're done. Um, I'm not going to slap these pieces on. These, uh, your cotton batting, your cotton batting will actually slide it in behind here and over and then these this will go over it and hold it down, just like that. I guess technically I could do that. It's not going to go anywhere. Just like that. And yeah, that's not going to go anywhere. So you can have your batting in between there. Uh, these slots are for if you have the doors. Wait, where's? I am missing something. There it is. So we have this piece which you could put switches in here if you wanted. We're not doing that, so we're just going to glue it in. Those magnets are strong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching the, the video feed catch up. <laughs> yeah, so that'll, that'll actually be good for the, the cotton batting and uh, folding it. I think I even have some downstairs from some project that the wife had worked on before, so... I'm pretty sure I have something down there. Uh, right. All right. So there's that. And that is it, is it boys and girls. Uh, that is the spray booth all built up. Um, if we reflect back on these guys, these should be pretty much ready to slide some drawers in. If you remember, um, I did not build all the drawers. I'll just, I'll build them later tonight. But these just, like I said, in like an hour, the glue's pretty much set. And by morning, these will be as solid as a freaking rock. That's going to give me plenty of space. I think there's two of these, uh, something like that. Um, I do like the fact that they have little slots in here so you can kind of see what's in here. Uh, I see some people use these for like putting minis that they have in process. Uh, but yeah, pretty much all of mine are going to be for tools and stuff. Um, I'm going to build the other two drawers. I'll probably build the other one of these tonight as well. Um, I made you build some of the duplicates that I have, like section number two, there's three or four of. I may build three of those. Um, Cause you guys don't want me, you guys don't want to see me build all, all the sections on there. Um, so that's about it. I will probably do a video tomorrow night and we'll just continue uh, on this. I knew I wasn't going to get this all done in like an hour and a half or so. Um, but I want to share you show and share with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed, um, uh, this has been a, a lot of fun to work on and I can't wait until we get this whole thing set up. Hopefully it'll all fit. We'll see. Can you see the confidence? Um, let's go through chat, see if there's anything new. <laughs> 
And pretty much, no, last comment was from Mangawa. And uh, he said, where the hell would you put it? I don't know. Uh, Wifey Sauce is texting me that she's done. So I guess it's time for me to put on my apron, put on my gr big girl titties, and go down and cook dinner. <laughs> all right. So I want to thank you guys all for tuning in. I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, it was a lot of fun to do. Um, stay tuned tomorrow. Uh, thank you, other day, for hopping in. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, I will see if you're available to hop in just to chit chat with me tomorrow. And that's about it. I will also show you guys uh, once I figure out exactly how I'll hook up the uh, the vent for the air station um, on here, which which I'm actually glad that I built tonight because that was one of my curious pieces. Um, I'll have. <laughs> I'll have plenty of room for everything. Uh, I already measured it out by their measurements. Um, the only thing I would kind of worry about is this monitor hangs over this desk a little bit. So I may end up having to work something out. We'll figure it out. Not that big of a deal. Um, so thank you. Uh, I will see you guys in uh, tomorrow's video. And uh, as usual, peace out, guys. Bye.